Hey, we're back. Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, the origin story of the Metal Gear series begins in 19... 19- no, don't read it. It's a spoiler. Six. No, it's, not the hi- it's the height of the Cold War. Naked Snake, the oh, man who would later it. become the legendary the soldier big boss, heads into the Soviet oh, territory God. to help scientists skull off a def- defect to the West. However, the mission ends in a failure when Snex Snex. Snake's mentor, a female soldier known as the boss, unexpectedly defects to the Soviet Union. You just what a unex- jerk. You d- unexpectedly, you just... <laughs> The fate of the world hanging in the balance, Snake is forced to question the true meaning of loyalty as he embarks on a lone mission to kill his former mentor. Well, that sounds nice. I'll see, All you, right. eat, I'll see you eat snakes. So, this is Metal Gear Solid 3. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Yes. I know this is your favorite game. It's is a good it one. Final? Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, well, definitely bringing the hype to this episode. So, yes. to start off, <laughs> I'll... It's a good one. I it's did... A, I had a copy of uh, uh, of this game for PS2 that I never played, but I did have the manual, which I read. Uh, so I have it's a... good manual. It is a good manual. Uh, I have a bit of a... I have a good knowledge about where all the uh, buttons are and what they do. Um, obviously, experience is going to make it or break it in the end, but... All right. We'll see. Okay, this looks like a weird acid trip. Just rem- remember the basics <laughs> of CQC, and you'll be okay. I remember the basics of CQC. Also, unmute it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Mute on. Mute off. Okay. All right, Ooh, let's look this. through the briefing files first. Okay. No, don't do that. No, stop. <laughs> Sweet. You can't read. Special. What's in special? Basic actions. Chokehold. Yeah, you'll figure through. it out. Actually, I want to know a chokehold, because I never figured this shit out. Okay. You hold the circle button near an enemy, so then I'm all. Oh my god. Put the enemy in a chokehold. Oh, no, okay, I've done this. Okay. Okay. I know that. Okay. Yeah, threaten, slit throat. Ooh. Threaten? What's threaten? Let's see that. Uh, hold down L3 button while holding an enemy <laughs> soldier in a chokehold to threaten them. L3 is the left stick pushing in. Yes, I read this. Okay. Do that as soon as you can. I want to get information. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, corner view, throw, hold up, I can get that one. Accurate firing. Ooh. Uh, lessons, hands, from Oh, yeah, I know this. Okay. What's advanced? Ooh. Corner, corner jump out shooting with certain weapons like handguns and corner. Oh, yeah, possible you, you jump out the... Okay, I can do that. That's simple. Making uh, disarming. Noise. Oh, let's do that. Shooting the right hand of an armed enemy. With That's sword. cool. Oh, hello. Oh, my arm. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> it's the enemy. I need help. It's the enemy. Oh, it looks like a log cabin. All right. And then I'll hold up. I know this. You got to be right behind them. Yeah. Proximity got, all right. And then wait, and then what? Go back to that? What does it say to do after? What does it mean? Yeah. And then I can put him in a chokehold. We know this. <laughs> Hanging shots. What the heck is this? That can't be the only reason you're going to hold someone up, because then you could just, like... Okay, like, one hand. Ooh, I can shoot while on this thing. Okay, cool. While hanging from a tree. Actions in first person view. I got the drag. I get that. All right. All right, we're good. I think we're pretty good. Photo album. Transfaring. All right, let, we wasted enough time. Let's get yeah, into this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, new game. Yep. Fuck, I pressed B. <laughs> God damn it. Well, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Okay. All right, so a lot of people... Because in the really last game, you just held the gun and then you said freeze. Yeah, it's the same go, thing. <gasps> okay, wait. Oh, shit. I guess I like MGS2. Wait. This makes perfect sense, right? I, I, that's not right. I yeah. like that, and I like that. So yeah. You know what's cool? They know oh. you're telling the truth. You know, <laughs> like, they've seen you play those games. I have yes, I have witnesses. <laughs> Good. After, right. the, After end the, the end of the end of World oh, cool. War II, <laughs> sorry, but split into two, east and west. <clears throat> this marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Got it. The Cold War. I remember this being one of those games that like I played like during history class, and like I picked up on things. Like, remember when you were studying, like, Greek mythology and you played God of War at the same time? Yeah. And you were like, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you uh, use what you, the knowledge you yeah, learned. Yeah, exactly. And I would fail all those tests. That's the best. Yeah, right. It made you feel like... Like you were smart. Not just that, but that, like, all the time you spent playing video games was worth it <laughs> in the long run. And that's kind of that's kind of what I feel like doing this show. It's like, how can I turn my hobby that I spend countless amounts of hours in... Into education. Into, not education, but, like, something that something that's not pointless. <laughs> I don't get it. I understand it. That's a cool plan, though. That is... I like that before. I'm saying is, if I play a game for myself for 10 hours, like, what did I gain from the ten, those 10 hours? Just entertaining. Uh, Whereas, yeah, I'm making a show out of those 10 hours now. Oh, you're trying to deliver, you know, good content to the good, the This good looks people. cool. I like this. I like that, babe. Who's that guy? 
Is that is that the colonel's father? <laughs> Sergeant? Yeah. <laughs> so this game's in 1964. Yeah. It's a throwback. This is cool. Look at that see how young Snake looks. I just remember to look back at the footage to make sure it's still going, because yeah, I'm so sorry. It looks like Raiden. Oh, shut up. I bet that is Raiden's strength. Mask. Smoke a cigar. Why does he have white hair? Maybe that's not Raiden for Snake. No, Raiden wasn't born yet. Yeah, I was gonna say. It <laughs> makes no sense. He looks like Lexi. He looks like Raiden. Whatever. Uh, Hideki Sasaki. Really good at those character models. Ten yeah. minutes to drop off. Hey! Hey, stop smoking in there! <laughs> Mosque. Ooh. Starts a forest fire. <laughs> it goes into gasoline. <laughs> It's not Dick. look like snakes. So oh, Toyota. Toyota Return. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite. Ugh. Yes. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. I miss my That's cigar. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm fighting a bunch of Soviets. U.S. Army, Metal Gear Solid, Snake, <laughs> Snake Eater. What's oh, this? that's the name of the movie. <laughs> I like how you called it a movie. Oh. Bump bump. External temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Oh god. Two minutes to drop off. Stay minus 46? Yeah. That's pretty cold. <laughs> You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. I'll try not to, <laughs> since that's so in my capabilities. <laughs> Activate the alarm bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first. Who do I work for? <laughs> Do I work for the Americans? Um, they're not the Americans. No, it's clearly. a USAF, which is United oh, States. Oh, US, yeah. United States is fucked. <laughs> four, three, four, five. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Spread your wings and fly away. I believe I can fly. And whoa, whoa, I hope you get to whoa! Play this. I do. I I love this game. I remember loving it, but I don't remember anything from it <laughs> except for like two or three things. I think that's the best mode going into this. But how do none of us know what's going on? Yeah. All right. Yes. David. Yeah. There he is. Oh my God! You know he just quit, or he was let go. Uh, Kojima. Uh, Konami. He was fired. What? Because Konami's getting rid of all their console divisions. The really sad. He got rid of Hideo Kojima. Yeah, because they make it. They're making mobile games. That's it's like firing Barack Obama. Virtual mission. Oh, the virtuous mission. Of our Fox unit depends All right. on it. Ooh. Will be officially organized into a unit. Hey. Okay. Virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. Yeah. Hey. Oh, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Huh. Right. I bet this story is going to be the easiest to follow too. Yep, definitely. Well, <laughs> All right. About two years ago. Got it. Two years uh -huh. ago. Yep. Certain Soviet scientists requested asylum in the West. Got it. One yeah. of our moles. Okay. okay. Of our His moles. name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. Ah, Nikolai mm. Stepanovich Sokolov. OK, B754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities. Huh. And the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Got it. Sokolov. You think you're going to start swimming again? The past two games you started same. swimming. Yeah, this is also a on VR April mission. 12, 1961, Ooh. the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. OK, got it. Right. Blue. There was no god. Okay. okay. Well spoken. The rocket carried. <laughs> uh, sure. I <laughs> yeah, just let me tell the story. <laughs> Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Oh, that's cool. Mm. I wonder if that's true. No, definitely not. Sokolov left rocket. Yes, these are all real characters. This is based on a true story. I don't know if you noticed. I mean, so far, right? Right. The Russians did build rockets. They that's tended true. to do that. Yeah. So why do you want to defect? Okay. It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. <laughs> Rockets. Afraid. Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, I like this already. Country and his family what? Behind. I don't know. It's like this old school vibe. Not yeah, exactly. Rockets. I always cool. liked like mid 1900s was an interesting time period. Yeah, especially for video games. Yeah, just for settings in general. Yeah. I like the way people dress. <laughs> I still dress like this. <laughs> 
the security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Okay. That's true. Is this going to be another hour long episode? We got off over in one piece, but the whole uh -huh. deal is exhausted. <laughs> I mean, the first episode's always a couple couple minutes yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. over the average. Well, like 10 minutes in. Yeah. So we can fast through through this through that, through that, through that special mission stuff. <laughs> was only a week later Got that it. we had something much bigger on our hands. Holy shit. All right, big hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Ugh. October the 16th, 1962. Got it. President Kennedy I also feel like I probably understand this game more if I understood 1960s history, which I do not. I remember. Do you remember from history class? Um, Fill me in right now. I remember so reading uh, uh, something about the Cuban Missile Crisis, like they were, uh, there's this one uh, submarine that lost connection to the Soviets. Yeah. And they had, uh, they had, like, their last order was something... I'm gonna butcher this, and this is probably not true. <laughs> it's alright. Better, better, better you butcher it than me. <laughs> but their last order was to nuke the United States in the act of, uh, in the event of a war coming out. Mm -hmm. And it was doing some, during some heated debates. Uh, so, on, like, a bad note, they lost connection with the Soviets, so they just assumed they were going to war. But they needed three... There were three guys on it, three officers, and they needed all three to agree to launch a nuke. But only one disagreed. But in order to Whoa. Get so we averted World War Three. Was it that one guy that said no? Because of that one guy that said no, yeah. Interesting. Was that man part of Dead Cell? No. Uh, yeah, it was Bam. Uh. <laughs> Yo, you know the chances of him showing up in this game are very high. Like, you know he's going to be here somewhere. Oh, Bam. Right? Like, no one wants him. He's that one kid that always shows up to all the parties. Like, oh, are you kidding me? He's pretending to be a vampire. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I don't, I don't want to talk about the past. This is the future now. Let's, let's get into these new characters. Well, technically, it's the past. Alright. I mean, literally. I don't want to talk about the past. This is the past now. <laughs> I don't want to think about the future. Look, the future's over. It's time to live in the past. <laughs> Alright. We were running out of time. That's cool. We can completely really forget about Raiden and his sad days of killing things as a kid. Okay. Uh, so we have an ultimatum with this this soul of God guy in nuclear war. Got it. Oh yeah, what, what happened? Gauntlet. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I followed. <laughs> I think I'll look at just a bit. Yeah. Blurry photos. These are very blurry. So we're just, we're here to save this guy. Which I'm sure will totally go according to plan. <laughs> he will not die. A fox die. Sokolov. Sokolov. You know, a common um, he was taken back to the research uh, theme of the past two Metal Gears have been just like the beginning story just doesn't follow in the end. Like, I think the mean, first like, one was like, save the president and get those hostages. I feel like that's a common instruction in all, like, stories. <laughs> that the, like, there's nothing interesting about the plan going according to plan. Right. <laughs> For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatine It's a big hole. Mm, it is a big hole. Weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. I like this guy's voice. Still in the yeah, me too. I hope he's on the codec. No. Can't we see what the codec looks like? So is this my colonel? Is this my new colonel? I don't know. Three miles to the west. I want to know his name. Virgin Cliffs. <laughs> the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs. <laughs> nice name for a virtuous mission. Yeah. They moved him nice. there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's nice. our best chance. I'm to excited get to back. see like their this weird excuses for technology, possible. like while being in the 1960s. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. I love, I love retro futuristic technology. <laughs> My Fallout's so endearing. Yeah, right. And the game froze. Uh, One more thing, Snake. <laughs> Your parachute's broken. Ah! Sorry. You know that parachutes have like backup parachutes that activate at a certain altitude. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'd I love that. Like, Safety yeah. precaution. That's have you ever been cool. skydiving? No, of course I want you have. To. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I'd do before I die. How much does that cost? R one. R one. Uh, oh, cool. Can I move around? <laughs> Uh, 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 Why they call you Jack? Who the hell's Jack? What? Did they call me Jack? Yeah, they just called you Jack. That's so weird. Jack the Ripper. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, hold on. We'll be facing a major crisis. That's fucking Raiden's name. What's that? Is this? Oh name my God, Jack. you're right. But Raiden was like 12 in the what? one that we just played. I don't. What is going on? 
Once we've confirmed the rescue circle, I'll stand by at the rescue. Ah, <laughs> shoot! Ah, uh, fuck. That point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The Got it. The process takes about right. 20 minutes. Oh, fuck. Okay. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. Right. Surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Got it. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. I love when they have that scar on his face. Oh yeah, no, that's from a sword, obviously. <laughs> Back from medieval times. So you're planning on going over the. I just love when they're like explaining the mission like while it's happening. You know, like they don't. <laughs> like really sorry, we didn't have time for a debrief. <laughs> just trust us on this one. <laughs> just get out the plane and we'll explain the rest. <laughs> Tank, we're facing a four hour time limit. Got it. All right. It goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. What, the cutscenes? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, <laughs> breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Nice. All right. <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck snake. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine snake at like an office party? He'd probably be like, he's one of the guys that like stands in the corner and doesn't talk to people. <laughs> I think you would just drink the whole time. Whee! Man, look at this jungle. Wow, this is a ripe setting to make you hang from the trees and... God. Oh, oh no. wow. Alright, gotta get that back. The helium balloon. First mission. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take off All your right. face. Reveal yourself. Who are you? And then it's gonna say... And then it's gonna be like David Hater. David Hater. Hater. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rawr. You just get up really slow. Alright. Take off your face. Where is this again? Russia. Russia. Gotcha. In the oh. Russian jungle. <laughs> yes. Or maybe it's yeah, maybe yeah, not yeah, Russia, yeah, yeah. maybe somewhere in somewhere in Europe. Who are you? Yeah, right? <laughs> Jack. David, David Hader. Hader. Who the fuck is Jack? I don't know. Looks like a pretty boy, though. Is this R Raiden's dad? <laughs> Maybe it is Raiden. Can't be. No, it's not. Raiden was a child. Who the fuck am I? <laughs> Who's Jack? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's go with it. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so I did read the manual. I know uh, about the camo system. Cool. The stealth system. Uh, I know about stamina and how that affects health regeneration. All right, we get it. Uh, I know if manual. I use the directional pad, I can tiptoe around. All right. That's cool. Uh, I think if I hold these two things, I get on my tippy toes or something. What's your RC mate? What's that? What's in your inventory? Uh, I got revival pill. Revival Ooh. pill. Espionage pill developed by the CIA. Can wake up from a fake death. Nice. Okay. Dude, I do not remember this at all. Like, I, this is the... <laughs> I've never seen this before. Okay. Well, it's RC mate. Let's see. RC mate. Uh, calorie mate. A balanced all nutrition right. food. Okay, so that's the ration, I'm guessing. No, no, no. That's... that's you throw it. Okay. Strong, <laughs> but... Hmm. All right. And then the knife, I assume, is for cooking. Got it. Let's go shank some people <laughs> in <there. laughs> All right, Jack. Let's go <laughs> find who you are. Oh, oh my uh, first call. How? Okay, cool. Woo! Record timing. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. All right. Got it. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Who's your name? Fun. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. Nice. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. Okay. You're not to mention your real name. Jack. Snake. <laughs> what? You don't like snake? It's snakes? David Hader. What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. This is so weird. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful, eh. you might not have a choice. What about you, Major? Imagine a restaurant that serves you. snake. You ever have snake? Let's see. No. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Major Tom. Ground control. Oh, and snake? Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Yay! Yeah. This isn't right. So, All right, good. The snake to shed his skin. Nice. Love the way you phrase it. Ha 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 ha. Beautiful. Get it, because he's a snake. Yeah. And he was wearing his guy. <laughs> what, is, what a pointless <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, just why? why? <laughs> why? <laughs> 
Snake, David, David Hayden. Hayden. There it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Those they eyes. They got me. Those piercing eyes. All right, yeah. This is 20 minutes long. All right, let's do a little bit of something before we end yeah. this episode. All right. Let's go back to the main menu and read it. Okay. So he was wearing he was wearing a latex so mask fucking cold. while wearing that oxygen mask. His face is just drenched in sweat when he comes <laughs> yeah, right. like, And his camo still looks perfect. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, cool. Do the analog sticks and stuff. I wanna see like Oh what I can do. Can yeah. I read Snake's mind? Can you read his mind? You, oh cool. You Major Tom. Ooh. This is so oh, look at that. I can switch pictures between them. Great. Find Major the best picture. A sneaking mission. That's a good one. You must not we'll see, be no, seen like a okay. Mugshot. No trace of your presence. Is that clear? What was that? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words... Oh, I can't read my mind anymore. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I can't read my mind anymore. Just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me snake was your idea of a joke, too. Uh -huh. no. What's the reason for that? Yeah, I like that one. That's a good one. Is right. Codename Major Tom, sex male, he's 55, from the UK. How exactly am I supposed to feed place? Oh, his England. birthday's coming up. He issued a knife mm. and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. When's his birthday? You'll also find some medical oh, 812. In your backpack. Oh, Major Tom's birthday is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Major Tom's birthday is in like five days. days. Way down. Five days. <laughs> I wonder if anything will happen. Oh, Ooh, you well, think you can code at call him? It'll be like, happy birthday. Yeah. You know where it is? All right, gotta get that back. I can see it from Yeah, here. obviously. It's stuck on a branch. Use the action button to climb the tree. Yeah, to climb the tree. Yeah, climb the tree. Stand in front of a tree that's covered with action button. Got it. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. Okay. My mm. frequency is one four zero point eight. Exeter, England. I'll give you a call. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. If you need to talk to me. Use the send function. Got it. All right. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. Okay. Go get your backpack, Snake. We're going to school. Yay. What would Snake bring on his first day of preschool? Uh, definitely a knife. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some camo. All right, so I got to get my bag. Let's try and do that. Hopefully I can get my bag this episode, and then we'll call it quits. All right. That way I actually accomplish it. Call it quits forever. All right, so. Uh, controllers are relatively the same. I know the mechanics have changed a little bit, but... Mm, yes. Ooh, hello. For the most part, nothing's really different. Life med. I heard about this. Uh, developed by the USSR. Restores life. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I slide down there. Oh, Ivy. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, wow. Ivy. All right, wow. Good job. <laughs> All right, sweet. I thought that would <laughs> take game. longer. Yeah. I did not know I landed... Okay. Action button. Yes, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I You're thought welcome. I could just press up against it and press it. Okay, cool. Uh... <laughs> no, damn it. <laughs> Maybe you can't get it this episode. Yeah, maybe. Will I be able to get it this episode? Tune we'll see. in next time. Hold on. E e okay, e cool. All right, e so uh, if I want to hang. Woo! Sweet, got it. What'd you get? I got my Crayola crayons. Call, call, call. The analog sticks don't do anything. Can't read his mind. I see you've retrieved your No, I can't read his mind. Snake. Sad. It's well, it's fun. I, I miss you. you. It's necessary like, uh, to take it out of your backpack. No, Got it. On the face in the survival side. viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Okay. Mm. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. Got it. From All right. that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. Okay. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. All right. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Please say the yep, same exact things. Right. Okay. <laughs> survival is fundamental to this mission. It sounds fun. After you've been out survival the field, is fundamental to every mission. Your stamina will start to drop. And when my stamina drops, right. my health goes. Yeah. It'll affect your performance. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Thank you won't you. be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. All right. Okay. Got it. Keep an eye on your stamina so you so don't I gotta run out. Eat food and sleep. Have a lost yep. stamina. You can hunt for local flora and fauna. Ooh, Ooh that sounds like a fun that fun time. Little gear flower picker. Uh, use a tranquilizer gun or a knife to hunt. R22 right. hush puppy tranquilizer gun. Hush puppy. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. Yay. Ah, good. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Oh, great. Yeah. Since its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too drunk. And I assume happy. that happens after like five shots. The suppressor's durability <laughs> is shown in the icon. So can I get it Any fixed? Any weapons and equipment beyond uh, what you're carrying now? <laughs> if you find another suppressor, I guess. Is that oh, works? maybe. I have to find my own weapons and equipment. Whose crazy idea was this anyway? We're really so on a tight budget. <laughs> standard Fox operating procedure. 
You can't leave any traces Meanwhile, he's rolling presence. a giant pile of bones <laughs> in the camouflage. <laughs> or bodily waste. Snake, you have to understand, if I give them to you, then I'd have less. You understand, don't you? All right, so we're breaking international laws. Okay, so we are in Russia. Got it. All right. Okay. Oh, you're going to be like the Cuban Missile Crisis. I'm going to be the Cuban Missile It's going to be like the American Missile Crisis. The Snake Crisis. American Snake Crisis. Why don't you just call me Ghost, then? Yeah, that would be a cool code name. Solid Ghost. Liquid Ghost. Ghost Eater. Ghost. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? Okay. Yeah. I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. Sweet. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one... Oh, so that's in my tooth. ...cyanide capsule. <laughs> take mm. it to your body so you can take it when you need to. No, that's How generous the, the, of you. The life... The Use it life if you're taken you prisoner uh, by the enemy. Yeah. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fun. Ooh. them into thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? You don't. Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? There you go. That's the one. Yes. But be careful. But if how do you so, how do I come back to life? <laughs> it's like, yes, you just use your mouth with your alive face. <laughs> mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Yes, that's the meaning right. of solo, Snake. I can't have time for <laughs> semantics. <laughs> a real one man army. Relax. Wow. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Dude, I am I am a fan of Major Tom already. Yeah, me too. I like this I like dude. Him. He doesn't sound, he sounds more laid back than the colonel. Yeah. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak. I hope it's me. Like recording your mission data. <laughs> I'm reeling. Member of Fox yeah, she's a good well, she's a good girl. She's yeah. here on the gun. She's great. With me. She's a member of Fox. She's a go getter. Who's she? Hello, Snake. I'm ah. a medic. Nice to meet you. Her Para. name is Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Ah. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Code name Paramedic. My name, huh? <laughs> That's such a it's stupid code name. John Doe. Ha. Ah. USA. Jack, or sure. they not coming up soon. You're regular Captain Nemo. A I read that book. Nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. I don't like that picture. What's your name? It's not flattering. Jane Doe. Oh, good. Very funny. Jane Doe. I wasn't joking. That's a good one. But I'll tell you no, I don't like that one. I like to this one. Yeah. Alive. All right, paramedic. My frequency is one four five point seven. So you're my Rosemary slash Mei Ling. She's also yeah. in charge of recording your mission data. Yep, ah, is. cool, you perfect. Want to save, mm -hmm. Send a message over the reserved save frequency, one four zero point nine six. Right. Got it, Major so Tom. Let's me record my mission data. Yes. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Hey, <laughs> this is the intern, <laughs> Jeffrey. Oh, what's up, Snake? <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, helping you with your weapons and stuff. Actually, it was the boss. Uh, the I'm not really sure, like, for you, Ooh. like. She's gonna be serving as Fox's mission advisor. Like, the boss is. What? She also uh, helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, the boss. Is you. How many years is it then? Jack. She's boss. a traitor. Look at that face. That's right. The boss. It's me. It's been five years. What are the pictures that you have? That one's not flattering. 18 hours. Oh, yeah, let's check it out. Wait. That's a good one. <laughs> tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. You can tell by the sound of my that. voice. Yeah, that one's gross. Really? Yeah. I like the fourth yeah. one. Well, I don't know really? anything about oh, yeah. you. That's a good one. What's that supposed to mean? The the boss. Say, birthday awesome. unknown. She's was on unknown age, unknown mission. birthplace. She's mysterious. Yeah, she's very you mysterious. You don't need me anymore. Hmm. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. So oh she's my mentor. No. Yep. I taught you Sweet. everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. Business I taught you all I see. could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? soldier. Mm. How to think what about like a lover? A <laughs> I can't teach you that. A soldier you needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. Nice. And the only I got thing all those. From mm -hmm. else I got all those things, fact, things four times over. Doesn't all right. Matter. What's most important is spirit. Yes. Spirit doesn't matter. Technique is stupid. Like what you need is spirit. <laughs> That's what they tell like, all the soldiers. The, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. all right, guys, you see these guns? <laughs> Fuck them. Away. Just, just you don't believe know. you know how to do it. <laughs> Listen to me, Jack. It's like the Dead Poets Society. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. It's totally Having not foreshadowing. Feelings about your comrades is one of yeah, the worst sins you can commit. Well, I know because I've read it in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Despite my warnings, it's fine. 
They change along with the times. Now we're gonna have to like yes, pretend to be amazed when like, that happens. <laughs> I'm sure that happens early on. I'm sure that's the no, twist at the end of this it had prologue. Nothing to do with <laughs> I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier I'm sure that's not the only twist. Whatever in this game. orders he's given. Yes. It's not his place to question why. Yes. But you're looking for like a, a reason to fight. You are so a natural twists. born fighter. But you're not quite twist. a soldier. Your a friend gets the chocolate ones, and you're like, he's a gross. Nothing more. Uh, That's doubly true yeah. if he's a career soldier. Uh, right and wrong have no oh place boy. in his mission. Right. He has no enemies and no friends. I have no enemies, no only friends, only the, only the mission. mission. Got it. Okay. You follow the orders you're given. So, Phil, no That's offense. That's being a soldier That's yeah, right. I, I just need to focus on my mission. To get the job done. I don't have time for friends, unfortunately. Politics. That's not the Glad you understand. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, nah. you have to Do you think Snake's going to be less of a badass in this one? Or just I think man with a gun. Snake's going to be... A saying in the Orient, what do you mean, less of a badass? Because, you know, right now he's like still unsure of his morals and everything. I mean, in Metal Gear 2... Well, this is an origin story, so I'm sure he's, he's finding it. How old do you think he is? Um, the youngest, like 20-something? 28, 29? Up, you don't have that I kind of voice. he's got to be like 30. Yeah. But then, no matter who this is the 1960s, charged. so if he was 30, like, here, then in Metal Gear 2, he must have been, like, 70? The times. Well, that's his clones. Values change over time. Oh, and so yeah, that's totally a storyline that I understand. So there's no such thing <laughs> yeah, they make clones of him. They said yes, that in the yes, first yes. game. Yes, okay. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms. Yes. Uh, okay. This is way too early for philosophy. Ugh. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything. Even in those I feel like we're just like that's what I tell my family. <laughs> soldiers supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is our own is mission, Jack. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Is our own existence, mm. said Descartes. <laughs> Call me Snake. Snake. Oh right. Your code name is Snake. It's so well. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> the legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. Oh. The Cobra unit. Uh. A group of heroes that oh, it was a bunch of snakes. <laughs> the Nazis didn't know what hit them. Hero backing you up, <laughs> Some of them did. Isn't that right, snakes? snakes? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. boss. Yes. I love it's you. Good to hear your voice again. <laughs> oh. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. I could try to tell a little bit of a cinematic You're story. We're always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. <laughs> Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters <laughs> combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. <laughs> I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival uh. mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the major? The boss is communicating oh. with us by radio from aboard a permit. Pictures. Ooh, ooh, look, at look at that. Look at that picture. Oh. My frequency oh. is 141.80. Nice. Got her digits. Nice. So there's a fifth. Battle techniques. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's just the sub. Okay. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. <laughs> Got Bless it. you. Oof. Dr. Oh, Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. All right. Okay. He's about to be rescued from the north of my current position. Season. Don't forget. That this is a stealth. Stealth. Move. What? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hear that. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. <laughs> Punch. Stab. Wing. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that big old. That's suppressor. like his. Uh... U.S. Us. Commencing virtuous mission now. All right. Woo. We will convince the. <laughs> we will. Uh, what the hell did he say? Convince. We will commence. Commence the virtuous, the virtuous mission, mission next, next time. On See you a later. bunch of. Oh. All right. Look at that. Can I move him around? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see y'all next time, bud. Goodbye.